What is up guys, this is Mystery, and today I am going to show you how to get 100% legit um, Minecraft server online, hosted right from your own computer, and it's 100% free. So, um, the thing is, when I was trying to make a server, I tried to use Hamachi, and that was so painful because everyone had to install Hamachi in order to join my server. And I didn't want to port forward because it's dangerous, and you know... There's no way to actually host your own Minecraft server for free without um, actually getting uh, getting your friends to join, like, easily. So I've just found a way. It's so easy. It's 100% safe, and it takes, like, two minutes. So uh, you should probably look up how to make your own Minecraft server first. Um, again, this works for any version of Minecraft and any operating system. There's Linux, Windows, Mac, anything. Um, so, uh, you should probably pull up your server, I've got my server right over here, and this is my dev server, I made like a small plugin for it, um, um, for, um, for this, um, for this is start, start your server, and if you don't know how to do this, you should probably look up how to make your own server first, and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to just make it, bring it online. So, you're launching your server. You can leave that be, open your favorite web browser, and go ahead and type ngrok, and we will search that, and then go ahead and click on the first thing you see. And this is basically uh, the software you'll be using. So first of all, you should sign up, um, and enter all of your stuff over here. Um, I will skip that, and I will be back. Alright, I'm back. So once you sign up, you should see this dashboard um, all you have to do download ngrok um, and then click download and it's gonna download just wait for it to download it's very fast and go ahead and locate where it is so I found it right here open this and it's just an executable file for Mac users but this is different for Windows PC uh, you can delete the zip file and you can move this wherever you want it, uh, wherever you want to make it. I would personally move it into applications folder, which I already have. I'm just going to delete this one because it's already right here. So um, after you do that, just launch it once and it will do that and then you can close it. And make sure uh, your terminal is still open. Um, you're going to go into a new terminal window and Go back to your um, dashboard over here. Um, now what you're gonna do, you're gonna see this line of code right here. This is very, uh, this basically gives everyone access to your computer. So make sure you don't share this with anyone. I've already blurred it out. Um, this long string here, just um, quickly what you have to do is copy the entire thing and paste it right um, in your new terminal window and oh make sure of course you uh, change your directory to wherever you install it so i installed it in slash applications which is here so all you have to do is cd slash applications hit enter and that will go to my applications folder so now i'm inside now copy and paste this and put it right inside and then hit enter. I've already done this so I don't need to do it. And then what you're going to do is, um, now once you make sure you've done that, you can close the terminal window, reopen it, change directory to applications, and then do dot slash, and only for Mac and Linux I think, you believe you, uh, I believe you do the dot slash, if you're on Windows you don't have to do it. Dot slash, and grok, space tcp space and then you put the port of your server if you haven't changed that that would just be 25565 and you hit enter and you see this beautiful thing over here so you you're having uh, this is your ngrok dashboard this is your server it's still up and this is your ngrok dashboard so basically everyone can connect to your server uh, server via this ip so all you have to do, you don't copy the tcp colon slash slash, just this, and command c, and everyone can connect to it. So let's go to direct connect, and we copy and paste this into here, and bam, we are into our own Minecraft server. This is everyone can access it, and how awesome is that? Oops. Um, 
laggy. It's gonna be a bit laggy because it's their own server, but if you want to just play with friends and you don't want them to install anything, then it's perfectly fine. So that is it. Just make sure you know that uh, when you install Mdrock and then you start the server, it's gonna have this IP, but if you uh, if you stop the server, by the way, if you stop the server, you do Control C to stop it. So I would just do Control C, and then if I uh, restart it, do the same exact command, it will have a completely different IP. So keep that in mind. If you want people to connect with the same IP, you keep the server running forever. And if not, then you have to give them a different IP. <coughs> So now it's different, and here we go. Alright, um, so that is it guys. Uh, you can use this for any Minecraft version, any software, and um, you could probably use this for stuff other than Minecraft. I know this is made for uh, web, so you could use this for web, and you could probably use this for like Counter-Strike, you could use it for a Mumble server, if you want to post a Mumble server, I guess, anything. So, thanks, I hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know what you think in the comments. See ya.